Hello and welcome to part two of my while wow loop programming tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will be working on another example on how to use the while loop. In the last tutorial, I taught you how to use the while loop to create a very simplified and basic CAPTCHA program. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you an example of using the while loop to check the user's age and to see whether or not they are eligible to vote. And if they are not eligible to vote, the program will constantly ask the user for his or her age until they are eligible. So let's create the variables that will store our age values. First off, let's create an integer called user age to represent the user's age and a hard coded value called minimum voting age requirement equals 18 because I live in the US. So if you live in another country that has a different voting age requirement, simply change the number 18 to something else. Next, let's create a Cout line of code to tell the user what to do. So Cout, please enter your age and then C in user age. This will allow the user to input their age into the program and it will store it into the variable user age. Next, let's create our while loop, which will do the checking for us as well as the repeated part of continually asking the user what their age is. So to do that, inside the parentheses where we type in our conditional statements, or in our case, or in other words, the statement that will do the checking is user age less than minimum voting age requirement. So what this does is while the user age is less than the minimum voting age requirement, which is 18 in this case, then keep on running the code inside this while loop. So in that case, see out, you are too young to vote. Sorry, please try again when you are older and line and then see out please enter your age see in user age and then let's say the condition is no longer true which means that the user age is either equal to 18 or greater to, than 18 then that means none of the code inside the while loop will run in that case we would tell the user congratulations you are eligible to vote. Please proceed to the voting booth. So let's run this program and check it out. As you can see, for the first line of code that's displayed is please enter your age. That is the result of this line of code right here, line 10. So let's input an age. Let's say five years old for now. Enter. You are too young to vote. Sorry, please try again when you are older. So notice how it showed the message inside here and here. And then asks for us to enter the age again. So this is the result of the conditional statement evaluating the true because the age we entered was 5 years old and 5 is obviously less than 18, which is the hard-coded value we selected. So if we were to type in another invalid age, let's say 10, which is less than 18, it should show the same message again. And it does. Okay, so let's say we chose age 18. This time it should show the congratulations message and nothing else. And voila, as you can see, it shows congratulations, you are eligible to vote. Please proceed to the voting booth. And then the program ends. As you can see, our program works as expected. It first runs these two lines of code, which is showing the user the instructions as well as letting the user respond with their age. Next, once the user responds with their age, the while loop will check whether the user is old enough to vote. And then if they're old enough, they're greeted with a congratulations message. Otherwise, they're constantly bugged with this message to please enter your age again. Now you're probably wondering, well, this is kind of repetitive. I noticed that line 10 and 11 of your program is the same as line 15 and 16. Why not just leave those two lines in the while loop and remove the two lines from the top? Well, if you do that, then the program will not be able to compile because you would need a user age initialized in order to do the checking in order to even run this code. So let's do that. So if we were to delete these two lines of code and try to compile, the program will show an error. And as you can see, it shows there were build errors. 
because the user age was not initialized, meaning that there was no value stored into user age. And with that in mind, that concludes part two of the while loop programming tutorial series for C++. Thank you for watching and please like this video, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon. Bye-bye.